When we moved to Cambridge, uh, there was a Middle Eastern restaurant there that was always empty, it seemed. And there's nothing like a small empty building to inspire commercial real estate developers to build an even bigger, emptier building. And here it is, the Porter Square Hotel. As soon as it opened, it was booked continuously. Only joking. I don't think it's ever been full. I don't even know if it's ever been half full. Indeed, I think if you go there by yourself, get the hotel all by yourself. This is the problem with shooting at a crosswalk. You need a second friend who also wants their own hotel. Don't worry. Commercial real estate developers have you covered here. They built a second hotel just a few blocks down. There we go here, down there, here, and down there. Anyway, hotel number two, built because you just can't have two half and one half empty hotel in a neighborhood, you need a second. So when we moved here eight years ago, no hotels. And uh, don't think this is the end of the video that, you know, I don't have more hotels to show you. Um, like I said, those commercial real estate developers, uh, they, uh, they're irrepressible. Is our second hotel, the Hotel 1868, because it's on 1868 Mass Ave. Again, first hotel. This is by the way, the Porter T-Stop and the uh, first hotel. And uh, this is Somerville Avenue here. Do this. And what is that in the distance? That is yet a third hotel where you can put your third friend and they can probably have that hotel all to themselves when it is finished. How much more can I zoom in here? Oh, look at this camera go. Whoa. Here's the third hotel they've been building. Uh, we moved here about eight years ago. They like leveled the land maybe the year we got here and a year or two later it took and then they started building the foundation. But this has been the slowest built hotel, I believe, in the world. In fact, I don't believe it'll ever be finished. But I hope it is because I want that third friend to have a place to stay at when they come visit. Because they have the one friend down there at the Porter Square, another at the 1868, and then yet another right here. So, will it get finished? I don't know. I mean, it's gone months where nobody's been working on it. Uh, then a month ago, maybe, uh, people started to work on it a teeny bit. But this is not the end of our hotel adventure. No, not by a long shot. Those commercial real estate developers, you can't hold them down. You can't just like point to like a hotel that nobody goes to there or there or a hotel not finished and just and, and, and tell them to quit. They're not quitters. Oh, my God. When you see what's next. Oh, I can't wait to show you. Uh, a few years ago, they found lead or some sort of chemical in the ground here in the field. And they, this is like, again, three years ago, this part is still closed off. The city has still not fixed this. I imagine it's because they don't have the money. I don't know why they don't have the money. They haven't fixed this or they haven't fixed the uh, baseball field. Two years, this park has been closed because there's no money. No money anywhere. No money anywhere, uh, but do not fret. There is money here. It's just not here in the kiddie park. <laughs> no kids. We need the money for adult entertainment, which is right here. This used to be, let me zoom in a bit. This used to be just an empty, uh, an empty spot. And when a commercial real estate developer comes to an empty spot, he literally soils his pants. He gets so excited when you find empty land in a city. And even though I wouldn't call this part of the city interesting, uh, if you want to come to Cambridge, or, or well, nobody ever wants to really come to Somerville. Uh, it's uh, it was you know it's it's free and it's open. So it's been free and open for a few years, and then. COVID, the pandemic really hit for good. I mean, they closed everything down March 15th. And literally on April 1st, 
they have been building like incredible. I mean, they are just, this is going to be a luxury hotel, 241 rooms. Uh, I think it's set to open in about a year. And they were building this during the pandemic. And uh, it was hard for me to understand. Um, but then I forgot, I forgot how creative and far seeing and far knowing these commercial real estate developers are and how it isn't really about uh, how much business you may get here, but the fact that they've been able to build two and a half hotels up the road. Anyway, I digress. This is probably what really inspired them is the chicken, the chicken wing store. So wings over Somerville. I mean, where else better to put a luxury hotel? And you know, if you're at the luxury hotel and you want to send a big package, you need a UPS store, and that's right here. That's good. And then there's a uh, the Dunkin' Donuts, which is going through some construction that's also been going on for quite a while. They they're extending this window. I don't know what they're doing. But you need the Dunkin' Donuts, you need the UPS store, you need the chicken wings. You can't build a luxury hotel without those three things. Oh yeah, and then you, you need a Chinese restaurant here. China Delight. It's got to be China Delight. And you need a pharmacy for when you get a headache for drinking all that liquor in your hotel room. You need a pharmacy. And of course you need the closed down playground for the kiddies because... Who cares about the kitties? Kitties don't stay in luxury hotels. No, they don't. So here it is. It's October, so it's April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, so the past six months, they have completely busted, you know what, to get this far. Cranes, and look at it, I mean, just incredible. I mean, the same people, you yeah, know, it's different people building this. If only they were building that other hotel down the road, it would have been done now. This is just blows my mind. Now that we're in a pandemic and nobody's going out, this hasn't, this hasn't stopped anybody. This is the part I love the most. They're calling it the Cambria Hotel, as if you're in Cambridge. <laughs> you're not in Cambridge. You're in nowhere Somerville. <laughs> 